Stephen, um, Anthony Albanese's new ministers were sworn in today. Uh, it's his first reshuffle. I wonder whether this is really his best team to go to an election over the next few months. When you see some of the talent that's uh, been excluded and some of the hacks and also ran and failures that have been included. Look, I think that's uh, a, a harsh judgment, Andrew. I don't think it quite stands the test of uh, merit. Andrew Any Giles? Or some of... Uh, Jed Carney? Well, Andrew, uh, if, <laughs> these are good people. These are... I could do uh, more, Andrew's but I'll start with those two. Outstanding. Andrew, 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 you're right, Giles is outstanding. Uh, Andrew's had a tough initiation into the ministry uh, and I think... He will welcome a change. I, I, I did actually catch up with Andrew recently and said, mate, the good news is in Labor politics, no one, you're, never, you're never being undermined because no one ever wants your job. Uh, so I think no, Andrew is probably point. quite happy to be in a different portfolio. <laughs> it is a tough one. He had a High Court rogue ruling, which completely went against all advice that he was getting. I've been there. I've been in Cabinet when the High Court ruled, completely opposite to how it ruled in the past. Uh, and it's, it can be quite damaging for a government at the time. Uh, we suffered from that. Andrew yeah, suffered okay. from that. So there are factors at play. Mm. Uh, but I think, you know, Tony Burke uh, is a very seasoned and talented performer. I think Tony uh, will oh. take to home affairs well. Well, he is a talented performer. And I think he, he is. He is a talented performer. Yes. Uh, he is okay. absolutely Look, uh, a talented But the answer, is, so. the answer is this is not his best team, uh, obviously. Uh, quite obviously, there are uh, people of the right that have been excluded, like Andrew Charlton, that obviously should be in there. Um, Michael, I, there, is, there is a sense now. I mean, this reshuffle was drawn partly, of course, the resignation of the retirement of three ministers, but also to get troubled ministers out of their portfolios. Um, how much trouble is this government in? Now, I saw a fascinating poll by the Australian National University. It says confidence in the federal government has collapsed. A Red Bridge, Red Bridge poll in the Sunday Herald Sun yesterday claimed the coalition had a good lead over Labor after preferences, 51.5% to 48.5%. Now, I don't believe it's quite that big, but how much trouble is this coming in? Well, they're in a lot of trouble. By the way, I love Stephen's euphemism that uh, Andrew <laughs> Charles has had a tough initiation, right? That's a synonym for he's absolutely bloody hopeless. <laughs> But, but, but uh, Stephen being the polite person he is, uh, what you can say about the reshuffle, Andrew, is these seems to be all, all these people are Albanese's mates, and the caucus, Labor caucus, must be furious that to get promoted you have to be a friend of Albanese's. Otherwise, why wouldn't Giles have been sacked? I mean, he's the worst minister since Chris Bowen's performance as immigration minister more than a decade ago that you'd know any too well. I think he's in a lot of trouble. He's in quicksand. He's sinking every poll bit by bit. And I now think there's a very good chance that Dutton will end up Prime Minister. Dutton needs 12 seats to have more seats on the floor of the reps than, uh, than Albanese, which I can easily see him getting. And if he gets two or three more than that, because the Greens will probably give supply and confidence to Albanese, um, uh, then, uh, then, then Dutton could well end up winning. I mean, I know here in Victoria, I think Chisholm... In Chisholm uh, and Aston, where we've got two very good candidates, Theo Zagrafis and Matty Cicello, I think the Liberal Party will win those two, and I'm increasingly confident that Amelia Hamer will win back Kuyong from the Teal. I think Tim Wilson's now a chance in Goldstein. I think Dunkley's a chance. Victoria is turning slowly against Labor, quite a bit to do with the hopeless state government. Uh, you can see ones and twos that Dutton can pick up all around the country. Uh, and that poll you just showed, the most interesting part of that ANU study was the working middle class are voting no confidence in Labor. And this is what we've been saying all along. If Dutton appeals to the working middle class, which he is doing big time, he could well win this election. And it's the upper class, the university educated, the rich, all the people that Menzies said could look after themselves, they're still behind Labor and the Teals. But the working middle class are swinging behind Steve, Dutton would you agree and he with could this? well win this election.